I know this is gonna be a hot take, but Taskade actually is better than Notion for teams. Let's find out why. So when it comes to calendar integrations, there are actually a fair amount of these that now can happen with Taskade. You can have a one-way connection with Apple, Google, or Outlook, but there's actually a two-way calendar sync with Google Calendar. So if we go into Taskade really quickly and go to the top right here, and then press settings, go to integrations, you'll see that there's the option to have an API token but with these for the one-way syncing, but there's actually an option for a two-way sync. So with the pro version, you're actually able to have a two-way sync before Notion comes out with it, which is pretty amazing in my opinion, as Notion is going to have sync databases coming up this year, but Taskade's already there. And as you'll see, it'll have it appear on Google Calendar and on what you're doing in Taskade. You can choose the workspaces that you want to connect and it'll show the different due dates on your Google Calendar both ways. And then you have the option to actually change what's within your calendar to not only be on your specific Google Calendar itself, but as you'll see, you have the option to click on it and change it to Taskade. Another great thing about it is that you actually can upload files from Google Drive to connect to your tests. And while you can do this in Notion, the nice thing about this is that you can interact with it not only with what you have going on with your application and interactivity with the application itself, but in regards to the chat. So I could like drop a Google Drive link right into the chat here. And I could drop this file right here and upload it and it'll go right into the chat. And since this would work well for Teams, you can interact in a chat with a Google Drive upload like this and download it and interact with it very easy. Whereas in Notion from a chat perspective, you don't really have it, you have comments and you can't like interact with people and like go into the chat here and, and, and go and be like, hey, here's the file that I wanted to send over. You can't do that with Notion in the same way that you can do it with Taskade. And then moving forward with that, the chat task functionality is just really great. You can interact with people by having actual message conversations. You can mention people in the conversations. And yes, there's commenting in Notion and that's awesome. But what's really cool here is that you can actually start and have calls and meetings on Taskade. So I could actually have this and then if I wanted to, if I wasn't using my um, software that lets me you know, connect with my Sony ZV-1 and my webcam right now, I could actually have my webcam here. So just like that, I would be able to have a meeting going in my task management software where I can interact with people on Teams and be like and ping them and say, hey, I wanna get a quick meeting going. And this is nice because we have Microsoft Teams, but they don't really have that application because Loop hasn't come out yet to really make it that next level of interacting and being able to quickly jump on a call. Taskade's already got that and it's really nice. Now, another great thing about this is that you can actually do the exact same thing on your phone. So if we open up the Taskade mobile app, what we can actually do is go to an example workspace and then project. And in the top right, you're gonna have the chat just like you would on the desktop app. And then all you need to do is press start call and then as you'll see here i can actually have a entire call going on my phone in taskade so i don't really have to worry about anything other than getting work done because this application is everything from file attachments task assigning and everything like that that notion has in some respects but not this calling and chatting and everything that comes with it and then the last thing is this when you have an application that can actually recur tasks, it's just better than in Notion. So if I take this task, I can press repeat daily, weekly, monthly, or custom every one day, every two days, every one, whatever number, week, months, years. And you can have notifications along with it. You can say when the recurring ends. All this is just stuff you can't do in Notion. And I know, I love Notion, it's one of my favorite things on the planet, but the fact of the matter is, teams are going to work much better when you can have recurring tasks rather than a project manager having to continuously assign the same things every week. If you like this video and wanna see more on other productivity apps, make sure to click this one to see how you can improve your productivity even more.